hello to all of our Discovery Center families. We miss you guys so much. Uh, we are thinking about you every day. Today we are going to read a book, do a couple games, and then I will have some ideas for parents to uh, follow up with some of the ideas from what we do today um, at home with their children. So the book we're going to read today is The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Do you see the strawberry? Where is it? Yep, it's right here. Little mouse has something else. Does anyone know what this is? It's a ladder. What do we use a ladder for? We use it to climb high things. But Little Mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Look at the little mouse working very hard to get that strawberry off the branch. Especially one that has just been picked. Oh no. Boom, boom, boom. I want you guys to say that one with me. Make sure you have your final mm sound. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tramp through the forest on his big hungry feet and, all right, ready? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Use a good S sound when you say that, ready? Sniff. Find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden. Or who is guarding it. What do you see that the little mouse has? He has a key. And what do you do with a key? You can unlock or lock doors or other things. Or how it is disguised. Quick, there is only one way to, in the whole wide world, to save a big ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Cut it in two. All right. What is he using to cut? He's using a knife. And share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end. What does the mouse have on his head? Yes, he has the leaves from the strawberry on top of his head. Okay, that was our book, The Little Mouse. The, big, the red ripe strawberry and the big hungry bear. Next we are going to 
play a little game. We have a little bear and the big bear, uh, a towel and an apple because this big bear likes apples and not strawberries so much. He prefers apples and then a basket. And so our little bear doesn't want to share his apple, and he's going to try to hide it from the big hungry bear. Ready? Where is he going to hide it? How about he hides it under the basket? Can go under. Okay, let's see. The big hungry bear can find it. It's going to go. And look around and on top. Maybe he's gonna look under and he found it. All right, we'll do it again. Okay. The little bear is going to hide the apple beside. Where's beside? It's right here. You know what? Now he's going to put the towel over the apple. Here comes the big hungry bear. Boom, boom, boom. Say it with me. Get that good M sound. Boom, boom, boom. And now he's going to sniff, sniff, sniff. Use a good S when you say that. Say it with me. Sniff, sniff. It's not in the basket and it's not under the basket. It's not on the towel. Maybe it's under. It is. All right, let's do it one more time. Okay, the little bear is going to hide the apple. He is going to hide the apple on the basket. Where is on? It's right here. Okay, here it goes. Right. And he's gonna use the towel and try and trick the bear. Ready? Here comes the big hungry bear. He is going to look for the apple. Ready, say it with me, go boom, 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 and sniff. Sniff, sniff. Is it under the towel? Nope, it's not beside the basket. Maybe it is behind the basket. No, where could the apple be? <gasps> it's on, it was on the basket. All right. So parents, when you um, are with your kids the rest of this week, um, here's a couple ideas to follow through with these concepts. We talked a lot about big and small. What you can do is um, have your child help you either put dishes away or help sort laundry and have them sort the big and the small spoons or the big socks from the small socks um, while you're working on that. You can also work on um, having half. Use the concept half. When you are eating at your next meal, maybe they have half an apple and half a sandwich um, and kind of use those words with your kids. Another thing you can do with them is have a little bit of a bear hunt. Maybe you have a stuffed bear or another preferred stuffed animal, um, like a stuffed Elsa or a um, a chase from Paw Patrol, anything that your kid has, um, and they can have the have them hide um, either a real piece of food that is not going to leave a mess, or um, a fake food, and have them hide it, and then you can use their bear to find it, or you hide it, and they can find the bear to find it. And you can use clues like it is under something or on something or in something, just as clues for them. All right, we will hope to see you guys soon. And um, we will be sharing more 
videos and ideas as we go. All right. Bye.